Welcome back to In Ohio Country today and from the Conservation Tillage and Technology Conference. Joining me now is Terry Hofecker, Chief Technology Officer for Soil One. Thanks for joining us, Terry. Thanks, Dan. It's good to be here. Let's talk a little bit about Soil One before we get started. So, Soil One's a startup from uh, the Ohio State University. Research was done there, there were some inventions created there, and then we were a commercializer that was uh, fortunate enough to be able to license out the technology for a do-it-yourself soil test kit. Wow. So let's talk about that uh, test kit. Uh, what does that consist of? So the test kit's just a simple box that focuses on the aspect of soil organic matter. So we're here at the Conservation Tillage and Technology Conference and that's where a lot of people are very passionate about improving soil health, about doing no-till practices, about uh, carbon sequestration. That's a whole manner of agriculture that's uh, been new and Ohio is one of the leaders in in the past 40 years and so this test kit fits into that. It helps them answer questions about how the organics are building up in their soil. So we talked uh, earlier, does this replace the agronomist? Uh, obviously not. In fact, uh, my talk wasn't about our test kit. My talk backed up a level and in our presentation here we talked about uh, the possibilities now becoming available for do-it-yourself soil testing for farmers that answer questions that they might be reluctant to invest in a laboratory test to answer or um, bring an agronomist out for, but they want to deal with it themselves. New technologies are here. So these are complementary things. We're, we live in an age where we're being empowered by our smartphones, by our uh, automobiles, and now this is various technologies are coming to the farmer and uh, they need to start thinking about, wait, I can answer some of those questions myself. Well, what are some of the uh, answers to those questions that they get from that kit? Well, one of the things that we're facing a challenge of is um, after the Industrial Revolution, we have the ability to manipulate and destabilize the soil in an unprecedented way. And we have uh, probably, on a global basis, sterilized our soils. Because uh, soil, when it's healthy, is a living ecology. And so if you over-till, this is the whole idea behind, behind conservation tillage, is if you over-till, you take those ecologies, you break them apart, you take carbon that could be available to the plants, you expose it to the oxygen in the atmosphere. In the first 24 hours after a field has been heavily tilled, there will be tons of carbon dioxide go into the atmosphere. So the no-till movement, while it has a lot been about uh, conservation agriculture and water runoff, has now become part of the whole climate question. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know when we're dealing so many years, in fact, uh, we've always been dealing, it seems like, with soil erosion and the loss of, the, and the loss of those nutrients in our soil. And so keeping a, a, a closely monitored uh, way of being able to check the soil to make sure it stays healthy is is something that's positive for all farmers, right? Right, and we're trying to, uh, as a good soil practices, we're trying to minimize the disturbance of the soil, the tillage of the soil. We're trying to keep uh, through cover crops on the soil. We're trying to keep organic matter on the soil, keep the soil from being exposed in a bare may in a bare way to uh, the elements, to erosion. And we combine all these together and we find out when you have living soil, you don't have to have as many inputs. You don't have to buy as much fertilizer. Oh, yeah. And because of that, uh, that gap between reduced inputs and what your yield is, is a greater profit. Mm -hmm. So through being uh, good stewards of the natural environment and the ecology, farmers are finding a way to be more profitable. We've had some great interviews with Ray Archuleta who really talks about the soil health and the fact that it is alive. It's a, it's a living thing that we have to constantly take care of, whether it's uh, taking care of our children or taking care of ourselves. You have to take care of the soil and this is just another method of being able to do that, right? Yes. and. Uh, Ohio, and especially the Ohio State University, uh, has been at the global forefront of the soil health movement 
beginning with Dr. Ratan Lal and the present generation, uh, Jim Ippolito, Dr. Rafiq Islam, many other researchers and researchers who've gone to other universities. Uh, the Ohio State University has been a global voice that people recognize. Well, let's talk about that relationship of bringing that technology, that research and development from Ohio State University to an organization like uh, Soil One, and then translating that and communicating that to the farmer. Yeah, I think one of the things that many people don't realize is uh, that I think it's over $900 million worth of research a year is done at The Ohio State University. And The Ohio State University has been one of the leaders globally in having a commercialization effort where they have a whole department that is focused on connecting entrepreneurs to new technologies and then creating companies out of them. Our little ag tech space, where there are other companies, 3Bar, Biologic, and others that have been spun out of the Ohio State research, uh, that's just a small part of it. There are biomedical companies, there are industrial companies. So that $900 million of funded research by government entities, by uh, in industry, that research is creating new companies and jobs in Ohio. Well, let's talk about the continuous uh, research and development that's necessary to keep this type of technology on the cutting edge. Are you still working with Ohio State University? Will they continue to provide that research and development that you need to make sure you guys are staying on top of things, staying in front, I should say? Well, see, you've heard about our soil test kit. We are just finishing with funding from a special state program uh, the commercialization of another bit of research that is creating a phone app. And that phone app would allow farmers to uh, especially uh, relate to these questions of how do I build my soil organic matter and uh, what is the resulting carbon sequestration of these choices I make. If I use uh, this many pounds of chicken manure per acre, this many pounds of pig manure Per acre uh, because obviously the Ohio State research is very deep so with funding from uh, uh, the Jobs Ohio uh, program the technology validation startup fund TBSF with funding from that we were able to take this complex body of research and working with an Ohio app developer we were able to now turn it into an app which should be in the market in the next six months or so so the the research goes on, but also the state of Ohio, the Ohio State University, through their commercialization efforts to try to keep Ohio an industry leader, right? Mm -hmm. To keep us uh, leading in technological development, entrepreneurial development. Uh, we have a, a very robust infrastructure in Ohio that does that. It really is for those farmers who have made this transition to say, uh, I'm more focused on soil health than uh, just sheer productivity. I want to not just have a profit, I want to make sure that I'm positively impacting my environment and leaving a legacy for the generations to come after me on my farm of healthy soil. Terry Hoficker has been our guest from Soil One, the Chief Technology Officer there. And uh, Terry, if people want more information, is there a website they can go to? Sure. Uh, www.soil1, the number one, Dot com. And we'll have a link to that site as well at inohiocountry.com. Terry, thanks for joining us. No, thanks for all you do, Dan. I love In Ohio Country. <laughs> thanks, Terry. We'll be back with more In Ohio Country today right after this. From generation to generation, farmers do their best to protect their land, livestock, and farm operations. But they can't do it alone. Salina Insurance Group has partnered with local ag professionals to do just that, offering the peace of mind needed to run a successful operation. Salina's products and coverages come from our first-hand experience and relationships with local agents. For total farm protection, come experience the Salina difference. Learn more at salinainsurance.com.